six six eight. You get a sense of exactly how big this just enormous orbiting complex is when you think of being down here on the ground and looking at something that's more than two miles away and you see exactly how big it is there in the viewfinder uh, for the crew. Those solar panels are just absolutely huge. They're 357 feet across and they are 240 feet from, feet from tip to tip. The spacecraft weighs about a million pounds. Copy. And coming up for Expedition 35 and 36, they will have more than 200 experiments taking place on board with more than 400 scientists on the ground participating with them. So this expedition for all six of these crew members promises to be extremely busy and uh, very productive, both in terms of operations and science. Now just two and a half kilometers between these two spacecraft. Five, eight meters. That's about a mile and a half. Six decimal sixty two meters per second range rate. A range for eighty five meters. Depot working atrocity. The Soyuz 34 continuing to close in on the International Space Station, parts of the Russian segment and the truss of the International Space Station very clearly coming into view now. The maneuver is in the A roll maneuver. Watching the antenna. Looking at the DC. So we are going to finish the fly around and be ready for the final approach. Copy. So please get ready. We are about to finish the fly around. The visiting vehicle officer here inside Mission Control has confirmed that the Soyuz has begun station keeping. This is the sort of final stop before the Soyuz begins final approach to the station, which should be in a little less than four minutes from now. There's a look at the Soyuz 34 from the space station's cameras as it continues to close in. These two vehicles are traveling high above the South Pacific Ocean, currently just to the west of South America. Range rate? 120 meters between the two vehicles now. Space Station and the Soyuz 34 as it continues to close in, everything looking good. Both vehicles currently in the dark, high above the South Pacific Ocean, about to head toward the northeast, approaching the western edge of South America. Crossfiles together, the indicator of a car is on. Copy. 
Что-то у нас как-то вот с креном здесь какая-то бита. I don't understand the thing with the, the bed overall here. Да нет, нормально вроде. No, no, I think it's normal. 23, it's good. 22 метра, скорость 0.13 на сближение. 22 метра, 0.13. Копи. Принято. Принято. Я пас, все Есть нормально, пара. пока не трогаю. Не, не, не. Сейчас тут помотают на этой базе. Нет, меня... Да. Я понимаю, что с этим автоматом надо иметь железные нервы, конечно. I understand that you need to stay really calm and cool working with this machine. Он выправляется. No, no, it's okay, it's straightened out. Управляется, управляется. После базы АР всегда у нас такое было. It used to be like this with the IR base. Так, дамер 12 метров, скорость 12012. Размер мишени. Размер мишени полторы клетки. The target occupies one and a half cell. Copy. Так, разсогласование у нас. От ангажу почти градус. Вот пошел вверх. Так, хорошо. Bias, I'll report later. Есть, мишень под, подходит к центру ВСК. Дальняя 7 метров, скорость 0,11. Дальняя 4, скорость 0. 13, Just a few meters now in between the Soyuz and the International Space Station standing by for contact and capture. The tag is the center. In place. Copy. Contact and capture confirmed at 9.28 p.m. Central Time, 10.28 p.m. Eastern Time. The two vehicles flying high above the Pacific Ocean, just to the west of Peru. Once again, Chris Cassidy, Alexander Mazurkin, and Pavel Vinogradov have arrived at the International Space Station after close to six hours from launch to docking. So this is our final destination.